Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and today we will be understanding academic publications or what is academic publishing and how you know academic publishing is going to help us. If you're a researcher and wants to do good in your area then academic publishing is really important. You need to understand what are the different types of academic publishing and once you do academic publishing or uh, publish different type of uh, papers or articles you become expert in that particular area. So it's really important to put your mark on that field. You need to publish different types of, uh, you know, publications, different types of academic publications. Academic publications are going to help you become expert in that area and also, you know, give you a credibility. So it's really, really important to understand academic publishing. Before we start the video, a huge thanks to our sponsors, Consensus. And if you are not aware of Consensus, let me introduce you to the Consensus. Meet Consensus the intelligent way to search for scientific research. Type in a question and let consensus instantly sort and summarize trusted research findings all in one place. No more endless scrolling with consensus. You find what you need fast, clear, and verified. Compare studies effortlessly. Consensus allows you to analyze research from various sources side by side, helping you to make informed decisions quickly. Personalize your research experience. Create profiles that save your preferences, making it easier to access your most relevant topics. Collaborate seamlessly. Share your findings with colleagues and collaborate in real time, ensuring everyone is on the same page. Get consensus today and simplify your research journey. And if you want to buy premium plan, I will give you the discount code where you can get significant discount on your order. So please try consensus now. So as I've already introduced you to academic publishing and why it is important, let's understand different types of academic publishing. We start with, uh, let's start with original research article. So original research article, uh, you know, it's, it's a kind of a format where you present new research findings and also the experimental data. It's a structural format where you will have IMRED. IMRED is introduction, materials and methods and results as well as discussion. So it will have a specific format that you have to follow. These are the articles which are peer reviewed. Peer reviewed means you will write the article, you will send it to a journal. It will be reviewed by someone who is expert in that area. And based on their feedback, uh, the article either will be published, article either will be rejected, or maybe it will went some, some sort of minor or major, major revision. Next is these articles will have very, very high impact in that area and it will take the field into a, uh, to a, to a next level. So research articles are really, really important. They are also known as original research articles. So that is the first format of the academic publishing. Now moving to the second one is the review article. In the review article, what you have is it's not original research. What we do is you summarize the existing research and you also analyze the research and maybe you can get a novel insight from, from that. There are no experimental data or no experimental uh, record that you collect. Next is it will focus on the gap. So review articles are really important because in this one, what you're doing is you're identifying gaps and researchers can work on those gaps. So if you're uh, publishing review articles, that means you're also, you know, putting a lot of effort and also advancing the knowledge in that area by telling other people that these are the areas that you should work on. They're highly cited because you are putting a lot of literature that is available. So they are going to be cited by other researchers if they are uh, working in that area. And it's also, it's also useful for, you know, for comprehensive overviews. So this is the second form of the academic publishing. Now, moving on to the third form, which is uh, the case studies. In, the, in this one, as the name indicates, you have different cases or, uh, you know, a specific case will be selected and it will be analyzed from top to bottom in very much detail. So detailed examination of the unique cases and you have, uh, you know, most of these case studies, they are available in medicine, psychology, business. So you will find a lot of case studies in these particular areas. And what they do is they basically provide a lot of detailed insight into the specific issues. So this is the next format of the academic publishing. Moving on to the next one, which is short communication. As the name indicate, it will be more concise version of something new research. Specifically, maybe you are a researcher and you're working on a particular research and suddenly you found out that there is something very, very novel uh, or uh, very, very important in that area and you want to publish it. So rather completing entire research, you can publish that in a short communication or it's also known as brief reports. In this one, what you can do is you can formulate a concise report on the preliminary uh, novel finding that you have 
it's a shorter than research article that is what i've told you and it's good for emerging insights so maybe you want to put your mark on that particular area you want to put your uh, your name on that particular area because you are the one who have uh, you know identified this particular uh, finding so short communication is something you should consider uh, all right let's talk about the next format which is book chapters i'm not talking about book here uh, but i'm just talking about the book chapter although book is also the academic publishing and you know and we all know what is a, what is a book right so book is another form but a uh, concise short version of that is book chapter you can contribute to a particular book chapter and what book chapter will do is uh, basically it's a part of a particular edited book and and then what you can do in book chapter is you can provide in-depth exploration of specific topic of specific uh, you know broader theme a book will be written on, on a broader theme and you can contribute to a specific let's say book chapter on that and this will also give you credibility in that area and later on you can you can publish your entire book so this is the next format of uh, academic publishing after that you have editorials and commentaries in this one if you are expert in that particular area so journal can ask you to give your uh, you know commentaries on specific uh, research specific research domain so it can offer opinions so that is important so you can also publish your opinion because you are the expert in that area you have worked a lot in that area so journals will ask for your opinion it is usually written by experts so if you are a young researcher that means you don't have opportunity to do uh, this type of academic publishing but when you become expert yes you can you can do editorials and also it provides context or criticism of that particular research or uh, the updates in that research research the next one is letter to the editor so in this one what you can do is if there is one article that got published or there are different articles that are uh, getting published in a particular journal you can write a letter to the editor and you can provide your specific comments on that particular research you can basically identify issues errors or alternative views because maybe you're working on something different and uh, your results are not matching with the finding that they have got you can provide your uh, insights and they, they are really important for you know dialogue or or debate of that particular research so this is another type of uh, uh, you know academic publishing so the next one is which is fairly new where uh, data sets and data papers so if you're collecting a lot of data a lot of data analysis has been done so you can directly publish that that data uh, as as the you know data set or data papers so in this one you can describe that particular data and make it publicly available or you can have uh, you know part particular uh, data that you're working on a research and you want to publish that particular data you can write uh, you can publish this as a, as the data set or just the data papers it will provide detail on data collection as well as methodology so how the data was collected so that is, that will be the part of this particular paper it will provide you know uh, useful insights into how the data was collected and also it will uh, provide unique data sets so that other researchers can work on that particular data set and it will be really really helpful for for those researchers so this is the format which is known as data sets and data papers in academic publishing all right so these were some of the you know main type of academic publishing you also have conference proceedings where you have uh, you know submit your research to a conference and that research gets published into a journal in the form of conference proceedings these are also really really important uh, types of academic publishing there are other types of academic publishing also but these are some of the main types and you should consider publishing uh, original research articles review articles book chapters books conference proceedings you know when you are expert in that area you can also uh, you know write maybe uh, editorial commentaries or something else so these all these uh, academic uh, you know publications are going to be peer reviewed so they are going to give you a lot of credibility and in case of academics peer review is really really important so please consider only the journals who are uh, you know validated and who have a rigorous or very very strong peer review process this will give you credibility this will enhance your knowledge this will make you expert in that particular area all right so that was all from my side i'll meet you in the next video where i'll bring more interesting topic like this thank you so much